Hello everyone. We will deliver the news that became a hot topic on August 29, 2023. You're not gonna fight me. Single quote. Florida cop yanks black woman out of her parked car while she is reportedly waiting for friends at beach in bloody arrest captured on video. Four minutes read. Video of a black woman being pulled out of her vehicle by a sheriff's deputy in Pompano Beach near Fort Lauderdale, Florida, was released on. Below are your comments. Not necessarily taking her side but it is telling when someone is arrested for resisting arrest and obstruction of justice but no actual crime other than the act of resisting. There does seem to be a bit more to this story. If it is true that the police were initially called because Ms. Cooper had assaulted some people in the parking lot, while trying to save spaces for her friends who were on their way, which does sounds plausible, then the officer did have reason to k. I've complied even when I was being harassed. Is it right? No. But don't make it worse. Handle problem officers the right way. The fact that she was blocking others from using multiple parking spaces says all that needs to be said about Ms. Cooper. Next news. Pope says, backward, U.S. conservatives have replaced faith with ideology. Two minutes read. Pope Francis has blasted the backwardness of some conservatives in the U.S. Catholic Church, saying they have replaced faith with ideology and that a correct understanding of Catholic doctrine allows for change over time. Francis's comments were an acknowledgement of the divisions in the U.S. Catholic Church, which has been split between progressives and conservatives who long found support in the doctrinaire papacies of St. John Paul II and Benedict XVI, particularly on issues of abortion and below are your comments. Just a few weeks ago, the pontiff called for purification of the church. Please, law enforcement and RC leadership, turn on all the lights in the U.S. Not just rebelling nuns, not just bullying bishops, not just clergy sexual abuse, but the Indian boarding schools that Canada is starting to adra. People with true faith still have true faith. Look how much the church has evolved to replace values with popular trends in order to stay in business. It is unrecognizable from 30 years ago. Some politicians say we have no obligation to feed the hungry or care for the sick. And priests and bishops are silent. But when a politician says that reproductive choice is a matter between a woman, her doctor and her god, priests and bishops scream eternal blepation and excommunication. Something. Religion has always produced trouble for humanity especially when it is politized as Protestant evangelicals have done in the U.S. these last few years. I also blame conservative, extremist Catholics through the centuries as well as conservative, extremist Islamic community for maintaining the world eye. Next news. Video shows a Florida air rescue helicopter breaking apart in mid-air and crashing into an apartment building. One minute read. Video footage showed a Broward Sheriff's Office fire rescue helicopter catching fire, breaking apart, and spinning in circles before crashing in Florida. Below are your comments. Must have been in a densely populated area. Seeing how the pilot didn't seem to be attempting some sort of emergency landing. Still, good to hear that there are no fatalities as yet. I'd say not being dead would be a pretty big win. Why did the pilot continue flying for 30 seconds, allowing the fire to melt the tail boom and cause a fatal torque spin? Was the copter uncontrollable so that the pilot could do nothing? Sad. Next news. Fatally sabotaged. Legal experts say concession in Mark Meadows' filing could backfire in court. Five minutes read. Meadows filing seeking to move Fulton prosecution to federal court, undermined, his own argument. Analysts say, below are your comments. He was not acting within the confines of his federal office. He was acting outside of it, against the American people and the democracy of the U.S. government. And it was a self-serving thing he and Trump and all the other co-defendants are accused of doing. 
He wants it moved to federal court for the the Trump White House regularly violated the Hatch Act with no consequences. Now it's come back to bite them. I doubt it makes any difference whether these people are tried in Fed or GA courts. The evidence is too strong. Jurors take an oath and they'll convict them. Everyone knows they're guilty. Perhaps the federal gov should prosecute him too for violating the Hatch Act. He would be in federal court and state court. I simply do not understand the desire and fascination of so many people to live under an authoritative government. I ask all of the people who support Trump and his kind to name one, just one, country with an authoritative leader where you would like to live if the U.S. was not an option. Absolutely correct application of the Hatch Act to Meadows' case as a catch-22. If he was acting in his official duties, he was violating the Hatch Act, and he cannot use an illegal act as justification to claim a legal advantage. So either he was acting officially, but illegally, and can't use it. Next news. Don't chop me down. 100-year-old ginkgo trees may get axe for Tokyo Redevelopment Project. Three minutes read. Miho Nakashima stood in a bathing suit in Tokyo on Sunday next to a 100-year-old ginkgo tree. Her body painted head to toe in green leaves and brown branches. A plan approved earlier this year by Gov. Yuriko Koike would let developers, led by Mitsui Fudasan, build a pair of 200-meter, 650 feet, skyscrapers in Jingu Gayan, mow down trees in one of Tokyo's few green areas and raise and rebuild a historic rugby venue in an adjoining baseball stadium. Below are your comments. Critics say the plan has been rammed through despite a botched environmental assessment as real estate developers take what was intended as public land and turn it into a private commercial venture. Sounds like good old American capitalism to me. Appropriate natural resources that should belong to. There is an easy solution. Just leave the trees alone. They are not bothering anyone. If I had magical powers. I would enable the trees to uproot themselves and chase after the developers with axes. As we approached the planet it sparkled in the sunlight but as we flew closer it wasn't water it was metal causing the reflection. The whole planet was covered in metal. No land. No water showed through the vast covering sheets. As we circled above no movements were recorded. No sounds were HEA. I was happy to see the full swimsuit. Next news. Hole-in-one prize winner sues after she's denied keys to new Mercedes-Benz in Florida. Three minutes read. The woman still wants her prize, or $90,000, after the rigged tournament, the lawsuit says. Below are your comments. If the conditions stated that eligibility was open to amateurs, without stating that if someone had ever been a professional, they were not eligible, I think she's a winner. It sounds as though this once professional golfer has been a registered amateur for many years. The contest's legal language, the entire reason for the hole-in-one companies is to figure out ways to not pay out the hole-in-one prize. This happens much more often than people realize. Very bad publicity to not pay up. They will lose in court and incur far more additional bad publicity and will still have to pay. It is quite usual for a former professional golfer to apply for and receive his, her amateur status back after the prescribed waiting period, etc. Please subscribe to my channel. And if you like it, please thumbs up.